All right, let's do this. Mr. Drippy here. We're going to be playing some Hydraneer. Um, I've been playing this game for a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to show you my continue file because, you know, got some time on that already. But, you know, let's start a new one for y'all. So let's do... Let's get this gold, baby. Yeah. All right, we're not going to creative. But if you don't know what Hydraneer is, it's a uh, pretty much it's a build 'em up game where you dig a hole, put stuff in a bucket, wash it up, get big stonks. You know what I'm saying? You start off here, Amber Cradle. You get a shovel, a little lantern, a bucket, a pan, a brush. You know all the stuff you need to be a huh? professional gold miner. We should also find some gems, perhaps. Got a nice little cart and a map to tell us where we're at. So if you look on the map, right, we can see that we're at the Ember Cradle right now on the left side. But there's plenty of other spaces that we'll get to eventually. So just throw that right there on the ground. The really interesting thing about this game is you can only pick up one item at a time. So like no inventory, it's like a pain, but you know, sometimes suffering makes it more fun. <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys how I like to get started off in this game. Um, and I'll also show you how a lot of people like to start. I recommend not doing the traditional, alright? I'm going to show you both methods, but we'll get to the madness of the drippy in a minute, alright? So first things first, take your bud, slap her in there, she needs some water, a little bit of plunk plunk, and then you see that? that little circle on the ground not the one in the middle but the one on the right that's where you'll be dropping things so if you're trying to line something up you can drop it on the circle or you can hold your drop key which for me is E if you hold it you can do a little bit better placement so if you're trying to line stuff up alright got our dirt only one scoop went in there right ooh fat nug hell yeah look at that iron alright so that was the basic style of how a lot of people like to start off the game. They like to dig, throw it in here, drop their stuff, get the water, slap her in there, and then give her a little brushy brush. And then you get the nuggy, right? Well, I don't think that's that efficient. And I'm gonna show you why. You take this bucket can hold four scoops, alright? So if you fill an entire bucket you can get that whole bucket and drop it in there. Boom. Much more water. And then I'm not going to use that bucket over and over and over, right? To fill the water. You just drop the whole thing in the water. Bam. Look at that. Easy. Cheesy. Gold fat. Whatever that is. Uh, power shard? Ooh, yeah. Power shard. Shiny. Throw that in there. Little loop. Ooh, look at that. Got a gemstone and a fat chunk of gold. Also, the deeper we go, the better the monies. So, if we try to dig in the same area, we can kind of get. Huh? Huh? Oh, he doesn't want me putting one in there. I can't count. Four is too high. All right, toss that in there. Boom. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. Ping, pow, ping. What do we got? Glitch stuff, nice. Yeah, this game's kind of wonky sometimes, but that's like half the character. Uh, <laughs> you can't sell these. They're just used for increasing pressure, and I'll show you guys that in a second. But let's just throw our couple little nuggies that we got. Let's take it. We'll run up to the vendor. When I come back down, I'll show you guys there's a little tent for buying stuff, and then a little market. So here's the jeweler. Go over here, drop your stuff on there. He's gonna give us 38 gold or uh, C, which is hydro bucks. So like any good you know person that saves their money, they throw it in the well, and you get a boot. Don't do that. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> this guy has like a bunch of random stuff in this game. It's awesome. He got a 30. Uh -huh. Oh come on, let me put the boot on there. Oh no, I'm stuck with the 38 dollar boot, which is meant for giants. Like what the hell? <laughs> Oh my gosh so anyways we'll get our money back real quick so this takes anything that you want to sell to the jeweler he'll buy anything you make right and I'll show you on the map in a minute but 
there's these little stock markets that are around. So this guy, he'll buy bars. So once we get to the smelting aspect of the game, he'll give us more money if it's above 100%, obviously. That, you know, so if you stock up on things or you're a hoarder or you like to collect, I don't know, whatever we make, then you gotta save up to the stock market and go wreak havoc on the market. All right? we got a little $38. Or hydro, what is it? Hydro coins. Toss it in the bucket. And this is where we're gonna buy all of the goodies for a while find more items in bridge poor everything here is tier one there's a couple different tiers which determines how far you can go in the ground but we're not really sweating any of that because we're just basic mining right now we got a sorter a hammers a crucible a furnace and anvil and all this will be making bars and, and gems and stuff we got a fishing pole a little crab pot, which you just leave in the water. Some dynamite or TNT. Some light. And then here we go. So, this is actually what we're going to start with. If we have enough money, I forgot already. How much do we have? 38? Perfect. Well, not perfect. <laughs> I wanted more pipes than just one. Oh no. Take this pipe, run it over there, buy it, you know. And this is what's going to give us water out of the thing so we don't have to keep plunking the bucket, right? That's kind of annoying. Now, let's say you were like, oh, well, this game's, you know, not super polished. Let me just try to steal something. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, but here's our goal, right? Automation, baby. Use machines, tier one, limited stock. Craftables in ice house. Yeah, so we can buy these, 700 something dollars, or Hydro Coin. Yeah, that's our goal. Because then we just gotta sit back, sip some coffee, do a little drip drop, and bam, money's in the bank. Alright, so yeah, make sure it touches the water. Like if I put it up here, nothing. No aguas out of this non opened hole. <laughs> but hey, you know, there we go. What if I put that higher? Let's, nope. Alright, well, let's put this here. So, oh, I left my bucket over there. Dang. And we're gonna try to stick this bucket right under that. Now, what if you're like, but Mr. Drippy, that doesn't seem very helpful. Or I don't have enough money even for a pipe and I wanna do that. Well, that's not a problem. See what you could do is if you're very careful, you put on the edge like that, right? And with a little finesse, come over here, and bloop. Watch, when you clean it, it's still full of water. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, if the water isn't directly hitting water, we'll have that annoying sound. So I highly recommend going to settings, audio, water pipe sounds, lower that. Lower it, lower it, lower it. Because I have had it on point three this whole time. If you guys were just starting playing, it'd be on one. And that will drive anyone crazy. <laughs> like, as you're just over here just trying to chill, enjoying good vibes, you know? And then you gotta listen to that. Oh, God. Alright, there we go. Ooh, fat nuggies. Look at that. So, I was taking them out earlier. I'm not even gonna take them out anymore. Because we're here to get the money. We're not, we're not a little scrub. We're two feet into the ground already. We're professionals here. Bam. All right, so then, bam, brush that. Get a little more in there. Brush that, yeah. I don't recommend doing this like a consistent, like going all the way up to the 700 you need. Cause you go out of your mind. Like this is idiot sometimes. <laughs> What you want to do is just take it, you know, go sell it every now and then. Go, go treat yourself, you know. Gotta, gotta be the king and queen that you are. All right. So now that we've done that a few times, let's just take this whole bucket. Make sure no nuggies fell out. There's also like permanent walls in the ground. Ooh, 130. Oh snap! That's a fat. Should we buy a boot? No, I'm just kidding. We don't need another boot. Alright, see how the little power shard didn't sell? Yeah. They don't want that stew. They don't believe in the black magic like we do. Also, so I already have two left in here, right? So if I toss this directly on top of it, 
combines. If you're not, it's okay. If, as long as you keep it in the bucket and you press the button, they all combine. So don't be sweating like perfect drops and all that good stuff. So we've got 130, right? I highly recommend our first buy be the stall pickaxe. And I'll explain why. It is expensive, yes. Will it fit in the bucket? Probably not. Come on, fit in the bucket. I don't want to carry you both. Come on! Ah, fudge! Alright. Oh, I wonder if I can buy a pipe. That's what I... Man, I got distracted by the pickaxe. How much have we got? 10? Oh, it's going to be more. It's going to be like 20, isn't it? Oh, dang. Of course it is. All right. Well, for the future endeavors. Now, the cool thing about the pickaxe, right? It's like, see all the hole we've been digging with the shovel is? Like, yay? Watch. Instantly dig it out. Bam, bam. Now, if you look, see how this dirt right here, it like, it's a permanent wall and it slowly goes down, right? So it actually like kind of like makes a little pocket, if you will. What I recommend is picking a nice little line, right? And then, now, the thing with this is, right, you're eventually going to want water to go to wherever you're going to be digging at. So the further you go, the more money you have to invest. So I'm going to go like halfway of how far I want to go. And then we'll work from there. So I'm probably going to go like right here. And what we want to do is we want to go out of our mind by digging a hundred times over and over. No. We, what we want to do is get as deep as possible. So I'm going to do the one thing you should never do in Minecraft and dig straight down. Alright, so we hit that bedrock. Or whatever you call it in this game. The, the no more go zone. Here we go. So I can't go any deeper. And I gotta see the wall slightly rising right here. So this is actually like a good spot to hit up. Alright, but now I can't get out, right? You can either dig a path out or exit unstuck. Boom, baby. So when you're holding it, all you gotta do is click. It turns on. Good to go. And that's where our life will be. Down in the hole because as you see earlier right we were getting like here actually let's do a couple more a bucket real quick for analysis for science drop that rock me little clippity clappity let's see so we got a gem oh wait i'm dumb that's iron <laughs> we got a gem hey you stay there and another power shard i wanted a golden one too just so we have comparisons so well, let me dig right quick at that gold i know i know i'm not digging as deep as i could but I just wanted to show you guys the difference in size. Dang it. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, gems are usually rare, but... At least I don't get them. Alright, there we go. Now we got a little... This is like, what? Top three shovels worth of dirt? Alright, cool. Now, we're gonna go to the good good, you know? Down there in the dungeon. Puts the lotion on his skin type of digging. Alright, so we're gonna go down here. Grab this. Huh? Oh god, did I just lose my shovel? Oh, did I just lose my shovel? Wait. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I can actually see. Well, this is a cool glitch. Well, that works, I guess. So this is how deep it is. <laughs> I was literally just talking about the ground, and now you can see, like, we're as the base of this little river-looking thing. So if you want to plan your spot, just know it's kind of like a nice light S midway through all right well cool so you know what plan b unstuck i'm gonna have to dig it out a little bit more so i don't lose my shovel in the ground because that's gonna suck but first before we do that shenanigans let's see what the ultimate dirt here gives us right and that's what everybody's waiting for that's what all you want you're like show me Ooh. Look at that difference. Look at that here. Look at the size difference in that. Like this thing is both of these combined easily. Way bigger. Man, I kinda want okay, let's do one more. You know what? No, I need it. The gold rush is getting to me. It's getting to me! Alright, we're gonna We're gonna do what I said I wasn't gonna do is dig another one real quick. Because I gotta I gotta see. I gotta see that big, big skunk gold nugget, you know? 
Alright. Do the unstuck. Run over here. Pour it in. And let's see. A gold. Oh, there she is. There she is. Look at that. Dang, dude. So, when you guys get a lot of stuff on the ground eventually, right? You want to line that circle up there. So that way you can just spam E like this. And it makes it so much easier just to put everything to a bucket. That way you're not like picking one thing up and dropping it in another, going out of your mind. Like that stuff sucks. No one wants that. No one needs that in their life. Alright, so let's drop this off. 84, not bad for what, two? We did like two big buckets. Yeah, easy money. Alright, we'll take that. Ooh, we can also get a pipe now, I think, yeah. See how it's starting to get darker? So this game has day and nights in it, okay? Or days and nights, is what I meant to say. English is hard. So drop that in there. They're not together. Click the button. Kapow! Magica. Alright. So, we're going to get a bed. Because if we have a bed, then we can sleep the night away. Slap this guy right meow. And do you need a pipe. To extend it out. How much we got? 70? So we can get three of these suckers. I would get three, but I hate the drip. Oh, it's 85? I was gonna say I was gonna buy a valve. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna cork it every time. Oh well. Screw it. Alright, so notice how we're getting more and more items now that we're getting bigger body. Let's do the cart. Now, if I was buying a butt ton of things, right? This is what I would do. I would line my card up like next to what I wanted to buy and I would just spam click right here, right? Because if you like look, let's say I'm holding this, right? If I drop like, so I know it's right here is pretty good. So I'm bam, 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 it's E, 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 press E, press E, and you're dropping right in the cart. And you're like, well, you haven't paid for it yet, Drippy. I'm like, yeah, I know. What you do, you just put it like, yay, boom, lined up, paid for, Gucci. Alright? Oh, I can also take this with me. Because they don't care about, you know, going through each other in this game. Hell yeah. Alright, grab that sucker. Going on back. One trip at groceries, you know? You want to throw all those bags in the arms at once. We ain't doing multiple trips no more. We're taking the cart. Alright. Got our little pipes. Let's do this. Let's get a little extension on Mia. You know, and if you buy them like more than you need, like it's cool because you're eventually gonna, you're eventually gonna, oops, you're eventually going to need to use them. So <laughs> easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy, you know. Oh crap, where the pan? Oh, I'm silly. It's right here. Haha. -ha. Don't do drugs. All right, let's see. Uh -huh. Throw that right there. All right, so see how it still makes sound? This is not lined up for me enough. If we can get it right. Oh. Listen to it. Oh, no sound. So beautiful. All right. So it's too dark. I don't like this. Let's do the clicky boy. Sleep the night away. And then it's still pretty dark in the morning, but much more easy to deal with because you know that sun's going to come up wherever east is, right? Rise in the east, set in the west, something like that. I don't know. I forget. I need to go back to Cub Scouts. <laughs> All right, so we got our whole good, and I think that's a, a good little start for what the game is. I mean, I'm gonna do some more digging 